Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright. This uh, technique was used in the um, the June, the early June uh, triplet set for 2018, which is self-love and doing self-care. Um, and this uh, is also a great standalone technique video. It's uh, a deep thought healing technique used specifically for that theme of self-love, self-acceptance, um, you know, feeling good about yourself, but also taking action on a regular basis that is good for you. You know, maybe eating right or exercising or stretching or journaling or meditating. There's so much self-care that um, I think for many people, if you have mental blocks about it or you're too blocked in too many of your chakras, you just think it's impossible. You just think, oh, well, I can't, of course I can't because I'm so busy or of course I can't, blah, blah, blah. Like your mind just can't find the little moments and the little, you know, little um, adjustments that you could make in order to do the self-care. Um, it's sort of like your mind gets into this all or nothing space. But anyway, so, um, so this video will be great for that um, because deep thought healing works on your mind <laughs> and it helps your eternal self, um, the wisdom and the healing energy from your eternal self, the part of you that's had all those awesome past lives and learned so much. Um, helps that part of you kind of um, the wisdom and healing from that part of you permeate your conscious and your subconscious mind and it helps you to get rid of mental blocks um, some that you maybe kind of are aware of and some you didn't even know you had <laughs> so it's cool to play with um, and uh, so anyway the deep thought method um, I have so many deep thought healing videos actually already fortunately I'm, I'm happy about that because it is a great technique um, there's a uh, if, if you're one of these people who likes a lot of background information, there's one called, uh, I think it's called Discussing Deep Thought. And that's like a half hour of like all the historical background of, you know, different versions of deep thought technique I've used and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then there's a whole deep thought playlist with that in it, but then with all these kind of walkthrough technique videos. Um, so this will be yet another one where I walk you through using the deep thought healing technique to um to help your self-love and doing self-care <laughs> so this is the uh this is the idea right here so you what you're going to be doing is you're going to imagine out in front of you little little areas you know just like this drawing um eighth chakra that's actually an energy center that you have that doesn't come into your physical body it's actually at least three feet above the top of your aura. So like if the top of your aura is like right here, then at least three feet above that, it's like a gold, you can, uh, it's like a gold sun that shines down on you all the time, um, healing energy and wisdom, but you can be kind of closed to that energy. You can be accidentally blocking that energy. And so this exercise is good for that. Um, so you just imagine, you know, a little section out in front of you that represents your eighth chakra. And then you imagine a section out front of you that represents your conscious mind and a section that represents your subconscious mind. And so, you know, you can imagine it different ways, but I like to imagine, you know, just three sort of 3D little rectangles, you know, and they're touching each other. And these blending surfaces where they touch are important because you want the energy to be able to flow. You want this um, healing energy and wisdom to come down and then you want the information that you really know to come upward um, all in a healthy amount of course but the more you heal this the more it'll all work the way it's supposed to <laughs> so um, so anyway that is what you're gonna just imagine out in front of you a represented version of your eighth chakra then your conscious mind then your subconscious mind and um, so all you do, um, well, hmm, let's ground first. <laughs> I always forget that part because um, I'm already grounded right now. So, but I think it's good to just make sure you're grounded. So redo your grounding. Um, imagine you're grounding, you know, it's like you could, it, this may help you, may not, but um, your aura, you know, as wide as your whole aura, make your aura, make your grounding as wide as your whole aura. And you just imagine you're grounding and that's creating it with your mind. So you just create a brand new grounding for yourself, red or orange or yellow. So this whole, it's like a 3D, you know, beam of light or waterfall falling downward from your third chakra 
which is just below the camera on me, it's like right below your sternum bone. This bone right here is your sternum bone and then where that ends, that's your third chakra. So that's good for productivity and taking action, you know, your third chakra. So it's nice to make your grounding red or orange or yellow, whichever you intuitively feel will help you to release the most. Usually I need to try out each three to find out like red, how much am I releasing with a red grounding? How much am I releasing with an orange grounding? How much am I releasing with a yellow grounding? I think I was releasing the most with the red grounding. <laughs> so just randomly pick if that's too confusing for you, okay? So just pick a grounding color, red or orange or yellow, and make it as big as your aura, as high as your third chakra, and make it all go all the way down to the core of the earth and it fastens down there and it stays wide the whole way down and it flows downward, okay? <sighs> And then we could do a one color earth energy soak just to bring up that red earth energy um, or orange or yellow, whatever your grounding color is would be fine. Um, just so you use your grounding, that big connection that you created, right? Use it like a straw to just bring up the earth energy at that color and soak your whole energy field with it. That's called a one color earth energy soak. So just, you know, bring it up. So I'm bringing up red earth energy and I'm just soaking my whole aura in it. Oh, which is nice. I like that. And um, if you know, if you know about gold energy aura buffer zones, just go ahead and redo your gold energy aura buffer zone because that'll help you to be safe. And if you have any little damage in your aura, you could quickly heal that if you know how to do that. If you don't you, and you want to learn how to heal aura damage, which I would recommend, it's easier than you would think, um, that video, Gold Energy Aura Buffer Zones, will teach you how. Gold Energy Aura Buffer Zones. Okay, great. So now we're ready. So, okay, so back to the main point, which is the deep thought healing. So imagine these three sections out in front of you, right? The eighth chakra. And then uh, you can imagine that gold if you want. And then the blue, like a, a light blue, kind of like that color for your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. But then allow yourself to be aware of whatever's healthy and gentle for you to clear right now. That would help you have more self-love and would help you to do more self-care. Okay, so just be aware of some energy blocks in, basically they're gonna be in this section or this section, or they're gonna be in the blending surfaces here or here. So, cause your eighth chakra is gonna be fine. So anything else could have energy blocks in it. So you could just comb through it for starters with gold light from your hands, you know, and just comb downward. And you just imagine that you're letting that eighth chakra energy, which is your eternal wisdom, just kind of permeate the conscious mind and the subconscious mind sections. Just comb through them. And then just be aware, okay, what energy blocks should I clear out of one of those two sections, conscious mind or subconscious mind, that would help you have more self-love, more self-acceptance, and also do your self-care and or do your self-care. So I'm starting to become aware of um, here, my subconscious mind section. I feel like there's just some black rocks in there, which a lot of times energy blocks will look like black rocks or white rocks. Like those are sort of extreme vibrations. Black is very slow. White is very high vibration, like too high. <laughs> vibrating too fast vibrating so anyway um if you find something you your intuition tells you about something just bring up blue earth energy and soak the energy blocks in the blue earth energy from the center of the earth and then just run gold light through those energy blocks and just relax and think about letting go and thinking about think about that you don't want to resist these energy blocks you just want to let go of them and they probably will melt pretty fast if they don't melt pretty fast, you can pause the video and comb through them a little more with gold light. You can also ask your angels to help you clear them. Okay, so let's do more. Um, so again, think of these three areas out in, represented out in front of you, your eighth chakra, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. And you wanna become aware of some energy blocks in your conscious mind or your subconscious mind area 
that um, if you clear them would help you to have more self-love and or to do more self-care. So just be aware of something and you can imagine, you know, if you can't see, that's fine. You don't have to see energy, okay? So just bring up, um, for me, I'm aware of like a bushy, cloudy, white energy in the conscious mind section, okay? And you don't have to know what it is really. Um, if I see something that's bushy and cloudy, my intuition goes to, is it a being? But this actually is not a being, like a little spirit. If it were a little spirit, I would just ask my angels to clear it. I would say, angels, can you please clear that? And if you're in doubt, just ask your angels to clear it, that's fine. But this is actually somebody's energy, um, somebody I know, a person. Um, so I'm just gonna bring up the blue earth energy to soak that and you can soak whatever you're thinking about, whatever you found in the blue earth energy in the gold light and just wash it out and think about how you can let go. Cause really that person's energy wouldn't be in your space if you weren't resisting. So just kind of relax and coax yourself into letting go of that person's energy. Mm. Nice. Okay, let's do one more, all right? Um, so again, uh, think about these three areas and just represent them out in front of you. Eighth chakra, conscious mind, and subconscious mind. And then just think of uh, what's healthy and gentle for you to clear right now. That's all you want to be aware of. And um, what can you clear that would help you have more self-love and also better, more regular, more consistent self-care? So whatever you're aware of, just bring up blue earth energy and start to soak it, okay? Blue, just with your imagination, you bring up blue earth energy from the center of the earth and soak whatever you noticed. So for me, I noticed in this subconscious mind section, it's like a whole bunch of white, um, like hard, almost like logs, like logs, you know, from a tree that someone cut down, um, but a lot of them and they're white but you don't have to see at that level of detail to clear it. Just imagine something and then bring up the blue earth energy and the gold light and just be patient. Think about letting go, maybe wiggle your toes or stretch your neck at the same time just to kind of relax and, and remind yourself to be in your body and not kind of over fixate on what you're clearing. Just keep breathing. There we go, mind cleared. Just to give you an example, although it's irrelevant, you don't need to know, but for me, those chunks of white energy, um, they were from this life and uh, again, a person, um, person actually that I haven't spoken to in years. And sometimes, you know, people get surprised about that when I read that and then they're like, oh, that can't be true. I haven't talked to that person in years. Does it matter? You could still be holding on to little bits of their energy. It's possible. So that's why meditation is so wonderful. Okay, so we can end with a blue soak. Um, that's where you bring up blue earth energy and you just soak these two areas, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind with like a light blue earth energy. So you can just go ahead and, you know, soak those two lower areas, the conscious and the subconscious mind in the blue earth energy. And I have a whole video that says deep thought and blue soak in the title. And that's pretty much what that video does if you like how this feels. Ah, I like how that feels. All right. So again, let's do a one color earth energy soak. Uh, because this kind of work, it stirs up a little, but it's in a good way but you need to keep your flow, you know, for like the next day, like today and tomorrow, keep good flow. So how you do that is by little, you know, grounding things like we're doing. Um, so let's do that again. Um, it's just be aware of your grounding and recreate it. You can pick a new color if you want, red or orange or yellow. I'm gonna pick yellow. And you make it nice and wide, as wide as your whole aura. So my aura is just off camera. It's, you know, that big, like this big all around. So just make it 
uh, red or orange or yellow, bring it up as high as your third chakra, where your solar plexus is, where your sternum ends. And keep it wide, going all the way down to the core of the earth, and it fastens down there. So that's grounding. You can keep that all the time. And you might have to redo it, though, sometimes. Um, and then use it like a straw and bring up earth energy from the core of the earth at that color. So I'm going to bring up yellow earth energy up, 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 all the way up to the top of my aura. Ah, it is nice. And you can just soak in that. So you're soaking your whole energy field in the yellow earth energy. And you can leave that up. Um, it's fine if you want. I mean, you don't have to, but I think I will. And that blue soak for the mind, um, I'm going to leave that going too. <laughs> but anyway, so you can bring up your yellow earth energy or red or orange and just soak in it. You could think about, I can let go. It's okay to let go. And if you like this and you don't know about my little six minute video, try color earth energy soak. That's nice. We do the same process of the soak, but we do it in red, then orange, then yellow, which is, it's nice. It really helps clean you up, <laughs> keep your flow. All right, wonderful. So great job, guys. What you did is um, first you did a, a grounding and an earth energy soak of one color, and then you did deep thought um, healing to help with your self-love and your doing self-care. And then again, you regrounded and then you did a one color earth energy soak. Oh, and we could redo our gold energy aura buffer zones if you know about those. If you don't, you know the gold energy aura buffer zones video would teach you that. All right, wonderful. Good job, guys. Woohoo! Okay, bye.